let us study the question first a spacecraft flying in a straight course okay uh, here let it, this be the spacecraft this spacecraft is flying in a straight course that means it travels in a straight line well with a velocity of 75 km per second so when we observe the spacecraft initially its velocity is 75 km per second okay the spacecraft fires its rocket motors for 6 seconds so rocket motor is working that's for 6 seconds let me mention the time here this is time only please remember okay six seconds stroke at motor is working so let me show that okay and the spacecraft reached here in uh, six seconds well At the end of this time, its speed is 120 km per second. Okay, here the speed is, uh, or velocity is uh, 120 km per second. Okay. Now, our work is to find the average acceleration while the motors were firing. So, okay. We can find the average acceleration average acceleration we will get from the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus at on rearranging we will get acceleration a equal to v minus u phi t let us substitute the values 120 kilometer per second minus 75 kilometer per second divided by 6 seconds that is 45 kilometer per second divided by 6 seconds that's equal to 7.5 kilometer per second per second that means kilometer per second squared so acceleration is 7.5 km per second square that is the first answer now let us go for the second part of the question in second part of the question we have to find the distance traveled by the spacecraft in the first 10 seconds okay first 10 seconds let me mention it here from here to 10 seconds up to here let it be So we have to find the distance traveled by the spacecraft in the first 10 seconds. So of course it has already covered some distance in the first 6 seconds with the uniform acceleration of 7.5 km per second squared. The question says the distance traveled by the spacecraft in the first 10 seconds after the rocket motors were started. The motors having been in action for only 6 seconds. So after 6 seconds, this motor is not working. That means uh, spacecraft is uh, moving with uh, uniform velocity. It will cover equal distance in equal intervals of time. That was not the case in the, in the first 6 seconds. Okay, here spacecraft covered different distances in equal intervals of time. Why? It's the uh, motor was working, spacecraft is firing, right? So here it travels with the uniform velocity. So our work is only to find the distance to travel to by the spacecraft in the first six seconds plus 
the distance traveled by the spacecraft in the next four seconds then you will get a total 10 seconds right okay Yeah, this time is uh, four seconds. Well, so let us write the distance traveled by the spacecraft in the first ten seconds. In fact, that's equal to distance traveled by the spacecraft in the first six seconds with the uniform acceleration plus. Yes, plus distance traveled by the spacecraft in the next four seconds with uniform velocity. If a body is uh, uniformly accelerated to find the distance, we have the formula S is equal to distance S is equal to ut plus half a t square plus. Distance traveled by the spacecraft in the next four seconds with the uniform velocity. If a body moves with the uniform velocity, you know, to find the distance, we have to find the product of velocity and time. Uniform velocity into time. Here one small issue is there. Here this time means uh, the six seconds. That is when the spacecraft was accelerating. So I am representing it by T1. Okay, let it be T1. Here T1. And this time is next to 4 seconds. No? So I am representing it by T2. Okay. Well, now we can substitute U that is 75 km per second. Into time t1 that is 6 seconds plus half a already we have found that that is uh, 7.5 kilometer per second squared into t1 squared time is uh, you know 6 seconds so that uh, 6 second squared plus velocity here this velocity is uh, 120 km per second please understand it moves with the uniform velocity so here also what is the velocity that is 120 km per second only it moves with the uniform velocity okay that velocity i am writing here 120 km per second into t2 second case t2 Time is 4 seconds. So this one, on multiplying we will get 450 kilometer plus half into 7.5 into 6 seconds squared. 6 squared is 36. 36 divided by 2, that is 18. 18 multiplied by 7.5, then you will get 135 kilometer okay and this is here and uh, this is the remaining well plus here on multiplying you will get 480 kilometer okay that's equal to 585 kilometer plus 480 kilometer that's equal to 1065 kilometer and